I think that we can all agree that video games based off of franchises that aren't video games are usually pretty bad. We don't really get many good games, and especially for official Thomas games, they are really not fun. But luckily for us fans, some of us are talented enough to make our own games and make them in a sandbox element that we all kind of like. We can go and drive around the railway, doing tasks, and it's really fun. And there is a surprising amount of them, and that's why I want to talk about even more Thomas Roblox games. So let's not waste any time and get right into the list. Take and Play Along has two versions. One is an older version, and then we have the newer version. I'll be playing the newer version because, well, they're basically the same, but one of them is just a lot better. Take and Play Along, a game by Vic Penguin, is one of the few Take Along games on Roblox that are really good. The models look extremely accurate to Take and Play models, and the track nails the Take and Play look. The scenery leaves a lot to be desired though, most areas are just a tree or two, but besides that, everything else looks really good. I really love the buildings in the game. Most of the buildings feel like sets that they would make for the line. If I had to complain about one thing, it'd be the way you drive the engines. A lot of row scale games do this, but there is this control thing that you would use, and I think it was supposed to help with filming, but you would click on it, find the address, enter the address of the engine that you want to drive, and then you could get into the engine and drive the engine, outside or in the engine. Which, it sounds cool in theory, but it's just kind of annoying. It probably helps Roblox content creators when making videos, but you know, it just doesn't help me and it's kind of annoying gameplay wise and I feel like playing the game is more important than filming in the game. It's the same problem I have with Tomy Testing Grounds, it's just the most annoying thing about really any Roskio game. But besides that, I really like this game and I definitely recommend you play it. Since I'm already talking about Roskio, we might as well cover- <laughs> Northwestern Roskill, a game made by Matt, who is the creator of Tommy Testing Grounds. This game is very stylized, and none of the engines have any faces in the game. Some might be disappointed by that, but personally, I really like it. The line in this game is so pretty, and all the colors for the game work so well. The terrain is beautiful, and so are the buildings. The engines in this game look great. I love the color choices here. Everything works so well, and nothing feels out of place. Also, the slower startups, while might be annoying for some people, I really enjoy. It adds some sort of like the layer to, I guess, realism. I've never driven an engine before, but it feels more realistic. Oh yes, this game does have the controller thing that I find really annoying. Everything else works so well, in fact, that I feel like you can just ignore the controller scheme and have so much fun in this game. You can tell a ton of passion was put into this game, and this beats Tommy Testing Ground in its quality and NW Roskill might be the best Roskill game I have ever played. Here we have Wooden Branch Line, a game you probably haven't heard of. This game is made by Big Pog Productions. This wooden railway game, while it isn't based off of any actual wooden railway models, I like the style. This game is pretty fun to play, and it looks great, but this game has some issues that could be fixed in a patch. For example, some engine spawners just break, and some engine's faces fall off while driving them. These are issues I imagine will be fixed in a future patch update, but as of now, these issues with the game could easily ruin it for some. But besides these issues, I really do like the game. If you're looking for a wooden railway game that is a little bit different than most, I think this is not a bad choice. Here we have Tom Toys World. Now you might be thinking, Tom Toys World, is that any different from Tom Toys Land? And I don't blame you, I thought the same thing. But this game is better in almost every way to Tom Toys Land. And I mean that because, boy, Tom Toys Land had some amazing quality. In case you don't know, Tom Toys Land was supposed to get a final update, but the creator just dipped from the internet in Roblox leaving all their plans for the final update gone. So the remaining devs for Tom Toys Land made a new game called Tom Toys World, with updated models, a new map, and the coolest skybox I have ever seen for a Thomas game. This beats Tom Toys Land in every way, the map is better, the engines are better, scenery is beautiful, and it has a day-night cycle. I think I actually prefer day night cycles instead of day changers, and that's all to do to this game. Tom Toys World is the biggest step up in quality from Tom Toys Land. I don't even know how they did it, because this game 
made a already pretty much perfect game better. It has some talent. This game is honestly the perfect sequel, and if they're going to make a third game for this installment, oh my gosh, how will they even top Tom Toy's World? This game is just so pretty, and the engines are so fun to drive, and I love almost everything about this game. I can't even think of a negative for this video. I'm just in love with this game so much. Here we have Tomi Island. I know a lot of people want me to cover more toy-based Thomas games for this video, and while I couldn't find a ton that I enjoyed, here is one Tomi game that has a ton of potential to be a great game with future updates. Tomi Island is a Tomi game with a very fun map, and the models look really good for this. But the engines, well, they don't really work that well. Edward is always stuck, and Henry doesn't work half the time. They did say they're working on this, but I thought this is a valid complaint for right now. Thomas works pretty well, but they haven't aligned the track right, so going faster than Notch 1, you're at risk of a constant derailment. Now, I'm certain these things are being worked on, and I would include a game with serious problems if I didn't feel like it wasn't worth checking out. One thing I really like about the game is that they just nailed the faces. They look so good! They do have some out-of-place memes in the game. Luckily, they are not in your face and you can easily ignore them. A neat detail that I don't know if it's a glitch or not, when you move Thomas's eyes up and down, he moves. Which is honestly really cool, but I don't know if it's intended or not. Overall, this game has a lot it needs to fix, and I'm confident that in time this game will be very fun to play. But as of right now, I still recommend you check it out, but do keep in mind that it's not going to be as streamlined as some other games on the list. Isla Freeham Railway. While it isn't a Thomas game, it is inspired by it in some areas. Imagine a Thomas Roblox game with entirely new locations and characters, but better than you could ever imagine because this game is incredible. The map is just stunning. The terrain is beautiful and unique. I can't think of any annoying things I encounter in this game. The engines work really well, the points are great, the map is beautiful. I only came across one glitch in the entire game, and it's a glitch that sort of lets you fly in the air. You take this guard's whistle, and if you keep on clicking one, they'll go higher and higher. It gives you a great view of the map, and it doesn't really harm anything. I cannot recommend this game enough. Please play this game. It is such a good game. I want you to play this. The Sudrian Railway. This game is only available if you join a Discord server, so I will leave the Discord link to that game instead of the game link itself in the description. This game is really fun. It isn't complete and there isn't too much to do in it, but what we get is very solid. When you drive engines, it's so smooth. There aren't too many points in the area, so you don't have to stop and change the points all the time. In fact, the way the points switch are really cool. Instead of the spears we get from most games, we have arrows in the air to point what direction the points are set to. I got to play the creator of the game, Ray Gaming. I know him because we both work on a game called iOS Model Era. He helped me get some footage and screenshots for this video, which is very much appreciated. This game has a really cool camera where if you press Shift C, you can have a free roam camera instead of the eye tool, which I wish every game had this. This camera is so good. The only con is that you just can't drive engines with this camera, so I guess the eye tool still has a use, but if they fix that, then this is going to be the best camera ever. I recommend playing this game for the engines alone. If you are interested in the game, I recommend you join the Discord server to get access to it and see what's all there. <laughs> The Naughty Railway. Yeah, it's pretty good. This game is made by Ryan Smells. One thing this game has that others don't is a second seat for engines. I'm guessing to act as a fireman or just to drive a friend along the game. It's a bit annoying when you are trying to get into an engine though, and I feel like it would have been nicer if you could just press like G or something to use the passenger seat and then just hop in to drive it. This game's map is really nice, and it doesn't have any empty space. They also have a coolie fill area, which is a really fun part of the game. I do wish we had more of the other members of the Cooley Fell, but I'm pretty happy with what we got. This game is pretty fun if you're looking for a game that doesn't have too big a map, and the places it has are very recognizable. You will probably never get lost in this game, and I love that. I like the engine faces in the game. They're done pretty well, and it fits this game's style. The game does tend to lag in bigger servers the more amount of players there are, but that's nothing this game can control. I really do like this game, 
and it looks really good. My only really big complaint is the track. I just, I'm not really a big fan of the way it looks. It just looks kind of weird to me, but that's just me. You might perfectly like the track. But that was The Naughty Railway, a very solid Thomas game. Blue Chan friends, let me just start off with, I'm sorry for the last time I talked about this game. Looking back on my first Roblox Games video, I was trying to go for a sort of history of the game, but all I did was point out how older versions were very buggy instead of talking about the game in its current state, and it came off as me hating the game, which I admit, I was way too harsh on the game. I also said that other games deserve to be at the top, and that was just mean, I don't know why I said that. Well, now that I addressed my past self was way too harsh on the game. What do I think about this game nowadays? Well. This game is so good. They have like every character you could ever want except for Porter. This game's style is really good. It doesn't require a really good computer to run, which is appreciated for me who wants to play some games on phones occasionally. The art style is pretty consistent, and while this yellow grass and these buildings are basically an embarrassment for the game, Everything else works really well. I love how much there is to do and explore in this game. The fact you can create so many episodes in the show in just one game is so insane. They even have a lot of customizable stuff for certain characters. You know, this weird funnel for Thomas, or Thomas Comes to Breakfast. Lutria Friends might be one of the best games for most people. There is so much to love about Blue Channel Friends. And I'm honestly wondering what they could possibly add to this game besides, well, Porter. Well, that was Blue Chim and Friends, a very solid experience, and I do apologize for unfairly judging it previously. Before the video ends, there is one game I plan on covering, but it was too early in development to cover, so I want to just shout it out here. That game is Thomas Generation 2. This is a reimagining of Thomas as a franchise. It isn't trying to be accurate to the Railway series or anything like that, it's going for a completely new take. And while it's still being worked on, I love the way this game is heading. The game is going to be made by the creator of Skrunkly Sodor. I have no information on any sort of SMA release date for this game, but I felt like I should mention it. Well, that is it for this video. Let me know if you want a fourth video of this series. I find it really fun making these videos, and I am shocked with how many Roblox developers I get to see comment on these videos. It's honestly insane, and I love hearing about their games or their opinion on games. Well, that is it from me. Let me know what you thought about some of these games in the comments below, and I'll see you all later. Goodbye, everyone.